I just stole Santa's naughty list. Ironically, it's almost identical to my viewers list. Daddy Furious wishes you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! You know, I gotta say, it's good to see you guys. After 5 days since my last upload, I've been locked in my room and haven't seen the light of the day. I'm attracted to fights and KVK like a fly to pile of dog shit. We can't be separated. It's like we complete each other. You, you complete me. Anyways, it's good to see you all again. Sorry for no uploads. I was just busy being a daddy and doing daddy stuff. You know how it is, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Basically, this video is gonna be an update on my performance so far in this KVK before Kingsland officially opens, which is gonna be on December 30 at 15 UTC. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. It's gonna be one last banger before this year officially comes to an end. Oh boy, what a, what a year it was. <sighs> Now you see, if I want to talk about it, I'm going to lose the topic, and uh, yeah, before I get all emotional and sentimental, let's just get back on. Oh god damn it, man. Anyways, we also have fog getting completely removed in about 13 hours, well, 10 hours by the time this video gets out, so hopefully by tomorrow, you get to see and spectate my KVK, and see the maps, see the fights, see other stuff all by yourself, so tomorrow is going to be the day. Moving to the other side, here we have 2489 and 1846. Just like us, these guys are also getting ready for the past 7 fights, which is gonna be on December 27 at 15 UTC. So get your popcorns, get your Pepsi Cola, sit back and just enjoy watching people smash each other, I guess. This is one last fight before the big fight. The King's Land. Moving to their zone 5, here we can see 1846 gave up their forts, gave up the whole zone pretty much, and they decided to focus their resources, their speed ups, on the more important fight, the King's Land, which I can see why it makes sense. Just like us, just like my camp, we lost the Sanctuary fight in the beginning of zone 5, so there was no point pretty much in continuing to fight in this zone. Why waste troops, waste resources here, when we can do that in King's Land, which is in fact the deciding factor of who is going to be the winner in this KVK. Now moving to our zone 5, here we still have a bit of territory and that's where we are operating. So we are basically launching rallies, defending garrisons with our farm troops and they are doing that with their main account troops. So you can see where I'm going with this. We are saving our main troops for the king's land and forcing them, the enemy, to kill their main troops in this zone against our farm accounts, which is pretty smart I would say. This way we get to have a bit of advantage when king's land arrives in regards of troops, resources, speed ups, and all of that. So basically how this works is one main account from us launches a rally with their best commanders which is usually Henry with Zhuge Liang or Tariq with Pakal. These are at the moment the best anti swarm rally uh, marches and if the enemy decides to swarm it, let's say the trades are not gonna be in their favor. So one main account from us is launching this rally and all the reinforcements gonna be from the farm accounts. And this is pretty much the same with garrison with defending a flag. So one guy gonna put one troop garrison and the farm accounts gonna keep reinforcing it. Easy peasy. And lastly, this is our pass 7. This is gonna be a 3 versus 4. Most definitely gonna be fun to watch of who gets the pass first. So one more time, December 27, 15 UTC. Stay tuned. Now, as for the dessert of this video, my account. Alright, so let's see. At the beginning of this KVK, I started with 3 billion kill points and now we are sitting at 3.6 so that is about 300 million kill point gain in just 3 weeks damn that's gonna insane I gotta say that's gonna crazy because I don't think I've ever done this much in such a short amount of time especially before Kingsland so I guess this is where you get to see the real progress the real improvement of your experience of your commanders your equipment and all of that so yeah gotta say I'm quite happy with it we are just missing 400 million more to officially achieve our KVK goal, which is 1 billion kill points in 1 KVK. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Lord have mercy, let me achieve my dream before I die. So as it appears, I am still sick. I thought I recovered, but looks like I was wrong. Alright, so now let's see the comparison, the ratio of the troops that I killed since the beginning of KVK till now. So, T4 versus T5. I killed about almost 24 million T5 troops then about 9 million T4 troops and about overall about 3 million 
between T3, T2 and T1 from doing CT rallies, which in general that's pretty much exactly what I wanted, to have way more T5 kills than T4 and other units, well it's obviously natural just because all of my opponents are whales, and uh, yeah, naturally they're gonna use T5, whereas if you fight in KVK2, most of your opponents gonna be T4, and you know like free to play low spenders, then you won't get that many kill points, and uh, it just sucks, it's not that fun. Whereas if you fight in Season of Conquest. So yeah, pretty cool. And my dear friends, my dear fellas, that brings us to this moment. Huh? Damn right, I got this last night before reset and that motivated me to go to sleep finally and deciding to chill on Tilt Kingsland because if you could see me through the screen, I was looking like a monkey with no banana. That is a sad and miserable monkey. A menace to society. I was having hallucinations of civil abusing me with his archers. Now that's a nightmare for any cav main. Yikes. So guys, that is pretty much everything on the topic of kills. Right now I'm trying to collect enough materials to craft my second ring. My second ring in the entire playtime. Crazy. But yeah, I'm just missing some KVK coins and some more mats to get it done. Hopefully we can do it this KVK. Obviously not before Kingsland because that's just impossible for Daddy Furious, mm, but uh, yeah, hopefully this KVK, and I'm gonna put that, obviously, on my Who Chuping, because why the hell not? Ooh, also look at here, I got rank 8 in Mighty Scavenger, what? Now, I chose Hera simply because I wanted to chain Barbarians, I know it might sound stupid, but that's the truth, I know I never chain, like who the hell do you think I am? I'm not 12 inch, uh, but uh, I'm, tr I'm really trying to get into chaining, I obviously have Richard, but I also decided to get Hera to pair him with Hugh Chubing and chain Barbs in KVK. Honestly, I need it. I need the speed ups. So uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna push myself every day to be to become 12 inch, knowing the fact that I will never be him simply because I once claimed to be free to play, but I didn't have the Minamoto logo. So <laughs> people noticed and they called me a fraud, an imposter, which is true for the most likely. It's true. Yeah, I'm sorry I lied to you guys, but uh, at the moment, at that time, I thought I was free to play because I was spending such a low amount, but in reality, that is just not true. You can't be free to play if you are spending. So I made a severe and discontinuous lapse in my judgment, and I want to apologize. But goddamn, rank 2 in the last stage? Now that's pretty impressive. I just gave myself a round of applause in my head. Like I said, I am still suffering from the side effects of not enough sleep, which is basically schizophrenia.